Hello. In this video, I will calculate the gamma function when the n is positive integer, and I will show the gamma n equals to n minus 1 factorial. Let's get started. Here is a definition for the gamma function. First, let's deal with this red term. So if we do the derivative to the e to the power negative t, then we got here. And then we put the negative sign on the other side, so we got here. And next, we plug in to replace this red term, so we got here. And then we put the negative sign out of the integral. And next, we do the integral by part. For the first term after the integral by part, this term vanishes at t equal to 0. And then we need to calculate the limit when t approaches to infinity. So first, we write it into this form. Because this is infinity over infinity form, so we can use the L'Hopital rule, and we got here. So after we do the derivative, it's still infinity over infinity form, so we still do the L'Hopital rule. And keep going until it exhausts all the powers in the numerator, so we got here. And you can see the numerator is just equal to k minus 1 factorial, but the limit is still equal to 0. So this term vanish, and then this equation goes to here. And next, we do the derivative to this blue term. And then we take the k minus 1 out of the integral. And next, we write this integral into this form. So now, if you compare this integral inside the blue box with the integral inside the red box, you will find this integral inside the blue box is just equals to the integral in the red box when you replace k by k minus 1. So this term inside the blue box equals to gamma k minus 1. And don't forget the coefficient in front of this integral. So we got here. So we got an important relation between the gamma k and the gamma k minus 1. I copy them here. So first, we write this equation into this form by dividing the gamma k minus 1 on both sides. If we plug in k equals to 2, then we got gamma 2 over gamma 1 equals to 1. And if we plug in k equals to 3, then we got gamma 3 over gamma 2 equals to 2. And keep going. If we plug in k equals to n minus 1, then we got here. And finally, if we plug in k equals to n, then we got here. And next, we multiply all the terms inside this purple box. So we got here. And you can see all these terms cancel out on the diagonals. So we got this equation. And for the right hand side, it's just equals to the n minus 1 factorial. And next, we need to determine the value for gamma 1. So we go back to this equation, and we let k equals to 1. So for the right hand side, the t to the power 0 is 1, so this integral is reduced here. And then we just integrate it, and we got gamma 1 equals to 1. So we got this final answer, gamma n equals to n minus 1 factorial. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like. Thank you for watching.